Get ready to enter the Thrive Time Show. We started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get here. We started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, now we're on the top. Teaching you the systems to get what we got. Clinton Dixon's on the hooks, I break down the books. Z's bringing some wisdom and the good looks. As the father of five. That's why I'm a dive. So if you see my wife and kids, please tell them hi. It's a C and Z up on your radio. And now three, two, one, here we go. We started from the bottom, now we here. We from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get All right, Thrive Nation. Now, some people, when they're not feeling well, they might not come to work, but not me. No, no, no. I take enough DayQuil to kill a small goat, and so I'm broadcasting today filled with enough day quill to kill a small goat now you shouldn't operate a vehicle uh, let alone a podcast and you've had this much day quill and i can't fill my face but i'll tell you this folks as my non-medical advice if your liver starts to quiver and your right hand begins to lose feeling you've had too much day quill and that's right about where i'm at right now with that being said gabe salinas from window ninjas how are you sir i'm well enough to kill a small goat clay Beautiful, beautiful. Well, on today's show, we're going to talk about this thing called the Purple Cow Checklist. The Purple Cow Checklist. And if you want to follow along, folks, go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash free dash resources. That's thrivetimeshow.com forward slash free dash resources. You can download my newest book, A Millionaire's Guide, How to Become Sustainably Rich. It's my newest book, uh, A Millionaire's Guide, How to Become Sustainably Rich. And we're on page 228. Eight. Again, you can download it for free at thrivetimeshow.com forward slash free dash resources. And we're talking about this purple cow checklist. So what does that mean? Well, this just in. There are a lot of other companies that clean windows. There's not just one company in the world that cleans windows. There's a lot of companies that cut hair. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of companies that clean carpet. Yet, the brands that we're involved with, uh, Window Ninjas and Elephant in the Room and OxyFresh, those brands stick out. Out. So if you were to look at a herd of cows and you were to see a bunch of brown cows, you probably wouldn't remember a bunch of brown cows. However, if there was one cow that was painted purple, that would be the cow that you would remember unless you've had too much day quill. So I want to ask you this, Gabe. Um, window ninjas. When did you first have the idea to come up with a ninja theme for your company, Window Ninjas? Uh, almost seven years ago now. If I recollect properly. I'm a little ill like you are, but um, yeah, right around seven years. Were you were you uh, you know taking ninja classes? Were you watching a lot of ninja movies? Were you watching a lot of Chris Farley, Beverly Hills Ninja movies? Uh, what inspired this? Uh, I remember being a youngster cleaning glass, and uh, I, I just recollected a guy um, watching me through the window as we were cleaning glass. And as I went in to get the invoice taken care of, he looked at me and he said, man, you move like a ninja on steroids. He says, the way you wield that squeegee is like a samurai sword in the hands of a samurai warrior. And he goes, it is masterful to watch you. And it is just absolutely amazing. He said, I sat here for the past 15 minutes and watched you clean that glass like nobody else's business. And, um... I continue. That, that was just one conversation of many that I had throughout throughout the summer. I think it was probably like ninety six, ninety seven, somewhere in there. And um, the uh, it, it just stuck with me. It resonated with me. I mean, it just it, it felt like an art form that what, what we were creating, what we were doing, and the services that we were providing. And uh, you know, we just kind of had this little this mantra of yeah, we're like these little samurai sword ninja guys running around cleaning glass. And um, it just stuck. And then when I decided to start my own company, that that was one of the things that I thought thought of first. I was just I, I was like, man, whatever we do, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna resonate that ninja theme with it. And um, and that's how I started Window Ninjas. So if you're out there today and you want to verify that Window Ninjas is in fact a real company, just go to windowninjas.com. If you want to learn more about OxyFresh to verify that's a real company, go to oxyfresh.com. And if you want to learn more about Elephant in the Room Men's Grooming Lounge, go to eitrlounge.com. So we're going to go through these 10 areas of the Purple Cow Checklist, 10 areas of the Purple Cow Checklist, and we're going to go 90 miles an hour here today. So first off, you have to figure out what is your unique service offering. So, JT, uh, if you were to hire someone to clean glass 
for your commercial office or, or residential home, would you, how would you go about searching for or finding said glass cleaning solutions? Um, I would probably put in glass cleaning near me or something like that into Google and doing that or asking around, trying to find someone. And Gabe, we've worked with you guys quite a bit in Window Ninjas. You guys come up top in the Google search results, so that's done. Check. Boom. But it t tell me about this. What is it that makes your unique service offering? What is it that makes you at Window Ninjas have a unique service offering? Well, we enjoy having fun every single day. And there, if you can't have fun at doing what you're doing, then you might as well not even be involved because if you have fun in providing a high quality service, then your customers resonate with that. And that's something that separates us apart from most other average and ordinary companies is the fact that one, we don't want to be average and ordinary. We want to be a fun, honest, reputable company that provides services with a smile and our customers can feel that warmth and welcomeness when we come into their homes or their businesses and provide the services for them. And we always do it with a smile and we do it with customer service uh, from a customer service centric approach. I think a lot of people get that wrong. And our, when we show up, we literally um, are there to serve the client and facilitate their needs. What their wants and desires are is what we are there to facilitate for. And we do it with a smile on our face and we do it with dedication in our heart. And uh, one of the things, one of the reasons why we're the highest rated, the most reviewed company in this market is because of our customer service and our ability to resonate with other customers who really want that level of service. Now, next, uh, you have to uh, create your unique product offering. You have unique service offering. You got to now. You got to have a unique product offering. If you're listening out there today, you got to have a unique product and service offering. JT, have you been to that restaurant where they throw the rolls at you? I have. Yes. Do you like that place? I actually really like that place. Where is that place? Um, there's a couple. There used to be one here in Tulsa, and it got closed down. So I think. The other one is, it was called Flying Rolls or something. I don't know where the newest one is. Have I mentioned that I've had a lot of DayQuil? You have mentioned that you had a lot of DayQuil. Have you had a sip of DayQuil? I did have a sip of DayQuil, yes. How are you feeling? I feel, I mean, it's still, I feel, that stuff we, that DayQuil that, is some that I got. That is stuff. What did you get? It's not the normal orange yeah. stuff. I saw some Woo. blue stuff, and I was like, oh, that that's is what we crazy. need. That is crazy. Wow. <laughs> it's, wow. It's intense. Okay, that is intense like we're out camping, folks. Again, so, <laughs> um, again, what is your unique product offering, folks? You have to come up with a unique product offering. It could be you have a restaurant where you throw rolls. Uh, there was a restaurant back in the day that was kind of a big deal in Tulsa called Casa Bonita. It oh, had yeah, I love that a lot of uh, video arcade games. It had kind of a Mexican hacienda kind of feel. You just have to come up with a unique product offering. Third, you have to describe your unique decor. So if you have a service business like Window Ninjas, people are going to see the uniforms. They're going to see the auto-wrapped vehicles. Gabe, what are you doing in terms of decor and uniforms, auto-wraps, that makes your company, Window Ninjas, stand out from the competition? Uh, well, our logo really stands out apart from most others, for sure. That's one, one of the most complimentary things that we get from our clients and um, just people in general who, who come across our band, brand. They're, they're really impressed with our happy ninja. You know, he's got a really big round face, a big smile. And, and, and I, again, that's another thing that I envisioned is I just wanted something very happy, something joyful. People would see it. They would recognize it. and They'd say, wow, man, that's pretty cool. And, um, and then again, it resonates with our team. Yeah, they show up in uniform. They show up in trucks that are wrapped, uh, logoed out, very clean, um, top-of-the-line equipment, things of that nature. I mean, it's professionalism to the next level. Now, something you could do, and JT didn't mean, didn't mean to cut you off, but I'm just saying one thing you could do if you're out there listening today and you're kind of stuck and you say, <clears throat> you know, I don't know what I can do to stand out. I, I don't know. I always just tell people, just start with the purple cow as the worst-case scenario. Like, worst case scenario, just paint your vehicle with a Purple Cow auto print. You know, there's actually a restaurant, a hamburger chain in uh, uh, Dallas, I believe, that has the Purple Cow. Let me look it up here. Purple Cow ham uh, burgers. And uh, there it is. Yeah, Purple Cow. And they're based down in, in Dallas. And it's a Purple Cow theme. So worst case scenario, do a Purple Cow print. Um, you know, worst case scenario, go with the whole shagging wagon uh, look there from uh, Dumb and Dumber. Uh, worst case scenario, I mean, you just have to you know, paint it yellow. One of my clients back in the day really struggled to generate leads, and I was telling him, just auto-wrap your vehicles in yellow. 
And this person would, no, I don't want to auto wrap my vehicle in yellow. And I'm going, well, you're currently, you have a vehicle that no one notices. So auto wrap it yellow. And they, and they were really hung up on the idea of, well, I don't want to look stupid. And I'm like, well, currently no one's looking at you. So think about it. So JT, I'd love to get your thoughts here. I think a lot of people get stuck right here. Yeah. Because they don't want to look stupid. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think um, you have to not care about looking stupid. And all that matters is, are people going to see it? There so, it like, if you have, like, a, a website, for instance, you need a call to action, and that call to action needs to stand out. You can't worry about it looking good. So, like, say the whole website's yellow and the call to action is green, well, people can't not notice it. There it so is. So, I think another good example of unique decor, have you been to Rainforest Cafe? Rainforest Cafe, I have been there. I love Rainforest Cafe. Do you really? I, I genuinely actually really like Rainforest Cafe for the experience, for the, you sit under the elephant that moves, and then they randomly have a meteor strike. I think it's cool. I like Rainforest I, Cafe. I have no issues with Rainforest Cafe, nor have I ever really thought about Rainforest Cafe, so I need to uh, uh, divert my attention once the day quill subsides to <laughs> Rainforest Cafe. So we move on. Number four here. You've got to have unique music and ambiance. This is so important. We went to a restaurant called Snooze in Austin, Texas the other day, and uh, they're very intentional about the music, the decor, the atmosphere, and man, if you don't have music in your office, music in your restaurant, it can get weird. Um, Gabe, do you have on hold music or do you have any music that's playing in the background in your office or anything? Or, or do you operate under complete silence like you're in like a, a submarine in a war in a wartime situation? Oh, no. Our call center here, man, we get down and dirty every single day. We love pumping up the jams, whether it's uh, old school, alternative music, uh, even some 1980s classic rock, or, man, the boys are in the mood. They'll throw on uh, the, the most recent and uh, cleanest version of today's rap music that we can find. But, um, man, whatever it takes to get them in the mood to get on the phone and make more phone calls and close more deals and just be happy, man, we're playing it in here. And uh, even on our call, call on hold music, I mean, we have little little – Japanese chimes and things playing and uh, I mean you did a good job helping us with that and um, you know even our voicemails and our, our all of our, our messages and stuff have this nice little tone to it where it's just got this little like Asian theme to it so yeah we do all of those things and it's um, we get a lot of compliments from our customers that do come into our offices and see us as well as the customers that um, just really get a get a kick out of the uh, the on hold music, or when they're leaving a voicemail, our voicemail message to them, man, they just they'll, they'll just rant and rave about it, and then they'll leave their voicemail on the on the phone for us. Now, number five on the Purple Cow checklist: how to stand out in the clutter of commerce. Number five: if you have to describe your unique experience, if you go to Whole Foods. Um, it's going to be, I'm not, again, I'm not saying I love the culture of Whole Foods and I agree with everything Whole Foods does, but you go in there and Whole Foods has a very intentional experience. Uh, there's another restaurant or another, uh, another grocery store in Dallas, Texas, that they have samples everywhere. You, you walk in, they offer free samples. When you walk in, you walk over to the fruit section and they have free smoothie samples. You walk to the meat section, they have free meat samples. You go to the coffee section, they have free coffee samples. You go to the candy section, they have free can candy samples. Um, and the, the whole sample culture is what makes it unique there. But if you're listening out there today, you've got to come up with a unique experience. Number six, number six, you have to describe a unique smell. Now, I can't smell anything today. Uh, be, that's why I'm on Dayquil. But you want to be intentional. Places like Starbucks or Auntie Annie's Pretzels or Godiva, these places are intentional about the smell. You go into a Starbucks, you go into an Auntie Annie's uh, Pretzels, you go into a Godiva Chocolate, you go to an In-N-Out Burger. They're very intentional about the smell. By default, people will say, what the smell? Don't have an odd smell. Have an intentional smell. Don't have an odd smell in your business. People will not come back. They won't know why. They just won't come back. They can't determine the origin of the odd smell. They're not that curious. They're not coming back. Number seven. You have to describe your unique branding. Uh, you look at a brand like a Chick-fil-A, look at a brand like a Purple uh, Cow Hamburgers we talked about, look at a brand like Harley Davidson, look at a brand like Starbucks. Every single aspect of the business is designed to work together. The print pieces, the business cards, the shirts, the uniforms, the one sheets, the signage, the menus, it all fits together because it's all part of a cohesive brand. And if you feel stuck today and you don't know how to do this, 
Uh, that's one of the things that we do for our clients, and you can learn more about that today on part two of today's show. Um, but if you buy a Window Ninjas franchise, that's one, one of the things you're paying for is they have a cohesive brand and system in place for everything. Move number eight, you got to have a give back. Companies like Tom's Shoes, they do buy a pair, give a pair. Um, OxyFresh, we uh, donate every time that you hire OxyFresh to clean your carpet. We help drill a well in a third world country. Um, you want to have some sort of give back, an elephant in the room. Every time that you uh, schedule a haircut with elephant in the room, we actually donate, if you're a first-time customer, to Compassion International, which provides food and clothing for people in third world countries. So you want to have a give back in place. I'm asking you rhetorically, do you folks have a give back in place? Move number nine and move number 10 in closing. Nine, you got to have deep empathy. What? You really got to ask yourself, if you were a customer and you called your business, would you want to do business with yourself or would you be pissed? We have a, a person in my life right now, Gabe, who has a unique ability to piss off one out of three people they talk to. That's true. It's true. And I don't understand what's happening, but it's like a unique skill set. And I've had to have the conversation of like, do you recognize that when you're talking to coworkers in the office, coworkers in the office, you're pissing them off? People that don't get pissed are now pissed. And then I, I'm going to like a trade show and I go, are you recognizing people that are trying to buy a shirt weren't pissed and somehow little old ladies are getting pissed at you? Like, what is it that you're doing? And the person's response was, well, that's just the way I am. And I'm like, well, this just in. You need to change your entire personality because your personality is pissing people off. And it's like, well, that's just the way I was raised. I'm like, well, the people who raised you also piss people off. You come from a long line of people that piss people off. So you need to just <laughs> stop the jackassery. And, and again, if you're out there today and your business is pissing people off at scale, you got to fix the workflow. So call your own business and see what happens when someone answers the phone. Fill out your own form on your website. See what happens. Go in your own store. See what happens. Hire a mystery shopper to visit your business. See what happens. And then finally, you have to have an end-to-end -end experience that wows. You have to have an entire experience that's designed to wow. Gabe, you have all that in place. That's what you guys do. That's why people want to buy a Window Ninjas franchise. If people go to windowninjas.com, tell us how much does it cost to buy a Window Ninjas franchise and what kind of a person would be a good fit to buy a windowninjas.com franchise? Well, the best type of person and the people that we always look for, are the, you, you got to have a great attitude. It all starts with an attitude. And if you got a great attitude, then everything else just seems to fall in line. Uh, currently, we're charging 49500 for a franchise fee. By the time you buy your truck and we wrap it and we buy your pressure washing machines and get that installed on your trucks and the window cleaning equipment and get you guys set, get a, get somebody set up, it's going to run anywhere between $125,000 and $175,000. All in. You get to be part of our team. You get to make quality, quality, quality revenue for yourself and your family. Uh, you get time freedom and financial freedom. And uh, you get to work with some exceptional people over here at Window Ninjas in our call center. Uh, we have a marketing department that just goes heads and tails, jumps, just does backflips for you when it comes to, to performing marketing tasks and, and getting your uh, your advertisements and things out there. I mean, we just we just have great team members. And again, it all starts with a great attitude. Everybody here has a great attitude. Everybody comes in here ready to work every single day with a great attitude. And um, if we find somebody that uh, pisses people off and doesn't have a great attitude, we show them the door. I'm, I'm not kidding. We have a guy in our office right now i got to deal with. <laughs> have you seen this cat who dances in the office? Have you seen this guy? Oh, I have. Yeah, yeah. Gabe, I've seen him. Gabe, this employee, we hire this guy. He says, I want to work for you. I said, that's great. You want to work? He does, for the interview, he shows up on time, dresses sharp. And then, like, day four or day five, he starts dancing in the office, like doing like break dance moves in the office, and he looks high. Yeah, not to mention starts showing up late. And I, and right I, and I said time. to him, I'm like, are, are you, you okay? He's like, yeah, man, I'm good, man. I'm pretty sure he was high day five. I think, like day, I think for the interview he wasn't high. I think day one he wasn't high. Day two he wasn't high. Day three. But I think day four he's like, man, I'm just going gonna, gonna to do it. <laughs> and and he, he, he's high. I'm not kidding. And so people like act – that, that people think that I'm a mean, terrible person for firing the guy immediately. And I'm telling you, other people will tolerate it. They'll say, 
oh, he's just a good guy. He's going through some stuff. I'm trying to help him. No, no. You have to fire that jackassery. You can't have that jackassery in your business, no matter how great your workflow is. So if you're out there today and you buy a windowninjas.com franchise, even though the brand has the great systems, you still have to manage that business. Now, the great thing is at windowninjas.com, they have a call center that books all the jobs for you. And Gabe, how long does it take somebody to learn how to run a Window Ninjas franchise? If someone goes to windowninjas.com, they fill out the form, they decide to buy one. How many years of training does it take for you to teach somebody the arts of window cleaning? Well, it doesn't take years. I can get somebody up and running within two weeks. Uh, from the time they sign with us and the time they pay their money and we get everything in, man, we can get them here in our office, spend about two weeks with them, teach them everything they need to know, put them back in their backyard, wherever they may be, and uh, get them rocking and rolling. And um, and then we do continuous education classes about every week, every as well, every every week as well. I mean, we, we educate, we train, we educate, we train. I mean, it's just a constant, ongoing process. But within two weeks, man, we can get somebody – literally in their backyard, making money and generating income for themselves. And that's windowninjas.com, windowninjas.com. JT, you've written a new book here uh, for anybody out there, you know, wanting to start off the new year with a new mindset. Uh, Tell us about your new book. Where can people buy it? Yeah, you can go to either Barnes & Noble or Amazon, and you can uh, just look up uh, What I Learned from My Millionaire Mentor, and it's under JT Lawson. So you go to Amazon, and you look for What I Learned. Learned, learned from my millionaire mentor. From my millionaire mentor yep. by J.T. Lawson. And the pros of the book is it's short. It's short. It's a lot of good information. So um, it's short that because people don't like reading anymore. So I kept it short on purpose. And you can go there. And if you have anyone in your life that, uh, especially a son or uh, a guy in your life that just sits and plays video games all day, I think it's a great book for him. Now, I'm working on a follow-up classic. It's going to be incredible. You have your, your book, What I Learned from a Millionaire Mentor, What I Learned from My Millionaire Mentor. My follow-up classic is going to be What I Learned from the High Guy in the Office that Dances in Circles. <laughs> uh, it's an incredible <laughs> it's incredible page-turner. If you want to learn Jack Assery, I'm documenting the Jack Assery of this person before I fire them in a book form. Hey, I <laughs> really appreciate you, Gabe. Thank you so much. And uh, for anybody out there who, ha- who hasn't had quite as much Dayquil, Dayquil as us, uh, uh, we appreciate you listening. And Gabe, we'll talk to you next week. All right. Sounds great, Clay. Hope you're better, buddy. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, JT. So hypothetically, in your mind, what is the purpose of having a business? Um, To get you to your goals. So it's a vehicle to get you to your destination. Whoa. And would uh, you need profits to get there? I mean, is the, is the, when you have a business that's successful, in your, in, your mind, in your expert opinion, would you need profits to get you to your, to get you to your, to your goals? Yeah, because if you have a $15 million business, but you have $15 million of expenses, it's kind of pointless. Holy crap. All right, so the question I would have here for you, if you could take like, I don't know, 10 minutes or less, and see if you could save 3000 bucks a year by reducing your credit card fees. Would you do it? Yes, absolutely. Holy crap. Why would somebody out there who's listening right now who has a sane mind, why would they not uh, go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash credit dash card, thrivetimeshow.com forward slash credit dash card to schedule a 10-minute consultation to see if they can reduce their credit card fees by at least 3000 bucks a year. Why would they not do it? Yeah, why would they not do it? Um, maybe because they didn't understand how you said the website. <laughs> this tree is a symbol of the spirit of the Griswold family Christmas. No, that's that's clear. Okay, so that, that could be a, that could be true. So I would encourage everybody to check out thrivetimeshow.com forward slash credit dash card. Thrivetimeshow.com forward slash credit dash card. What would be a, another reason why someone would not be willing to take 10 minutes to compare rates to see if they could save $3,000 or more on credit card fees? Maybe they think it is a waste of time and that it won't. It's not possible. There's somebody out there that's making more than $3,000 every 10 minutes, and they're like, nah, that's not worth my time. Hello, we getting made right money. We getting made right money. There's probably some someone out there okay. that would think that. Well, I'll just tell you, folks, if you're out there today and uh, you're making less than uh, $3,000 per 10 minutes, I would highly recommend that you go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash credit dash card uh, it, it, because you can compare rates, you can save money, and you know the, the big the big goal in, in my opinion of building a, a business is to create time freedom and financial freedom and in order to do that you have to maximize your profits holy crap now one way to maximize your profits is to increase your revenue another way to do it is to decrease your expenses 
it's a profit deal. <laughs> it takes the pressure off. JT, is there any other reason why somebody would not be willing to take 10 minutes to compare rates to see if they could save a total of $3,000 a year on average? I am at a loss and I cannot think of any other. Shampoo is better. I go on first and clean the hair. Conditioner is better. I leave the hair silky and smooth. Oh, really, fool? Really? <laughs> Stop looking at me, swan. Well, let me tell you a good story here real quick here. I actually, uh, years ago, compared rates uh, with this company here called IPS. It's Integrated Payment Services. And I, I scheduled a consultation. I I don't know that I was skeptical. I just thought, whatever, I'll take 10 minutes. I'll compare rates. I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. No, I mean, I'm just not sure. Or can't you take a guess? Well, not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? And in my case, in my in my case, in my particular case, I save over twenty thousand dollars a year. Holy crap! Wow. Which is, uh, you know, like uh, groceries when my wife goes to the organic stores. Find everything you need today. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. Oh god. No. Everything okay, ma'am? Oh, uh, it's just that you've only scanned a few items and it's already 60 bucks. Uh, I'm so scared. Okay, I'm a trained professional, ma'am. I've scanned a lot of groceries. I need you to stay with me. It's just that my in-laws are in town and they want a charcuterie board. Well, this isn't gonna be easy, so I need you to be brave, all right? What's your name? Patricia. Patricia, all right. I need you to take a deep breath. We're about to do the cheese. You know, that's the yeah. difference between eating groceries. organic and not organic. So because my wife eats organic, I had to take the 10 minutes needed to compare rates to save the $20,000 a year on credit card fees just for one of my companies. One question, what's the brand name of the clock? The brand name of the clock, Rod, brand do we have The brand name it? of the clock, it's an elegant from Ridgeway. It's from Ridgeway. Let's, let's buy. Buy the clock. And sell the fireplace. So I encourage everybody out there, go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash credit dash card. You schedule a free consultation, request information. A member of our team will call you. They'll schedule a free consultation. It should take you 10 minutes or less. Uh, and they're going to compare rates and see if they can't save you more than $3,000 a year off of your credit card processing. You were hoping what? I wouldn't owe you money at the no, end of the day. No, you don't owe us money. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, the goal of a business is to create time freedom and financial freedom. And in order to do, and in order to do that, you need to create additional profits. is up 411% over last year. We are Jared and Jennifer Johnson. We own Platinum Pest and Lawn and are located in Owasso, Oklahoma. And we have been working with Thrive for business coaching for almost a year now. Yeah, so so what we wanna do is we wanna share some wins with you guys uh, that, that we've had by working with Thrive. Um, first of all, um, we're on the top page of Google now, okay? Um, I just wanna let you know what type of accomplishment this is. Our competition, Orkin, Terminex, they're both $1.3 billion companies. They both have two to 3,000 pages of content um, attached to their website. So to basically go from uh, virtually non-existent on Google to up on the top page is, is really saying something. Um, but that's come by being uh, diligent to the systems that, that Thrive has, um, by, be, by uh, being consistent and diligent on, on doing podcasts um, and staying on top of those podcasts um, to really help uh, with, with getting up on uh, uh, with their listing and ranking there with Google. And also, we've been um, trying to get Google reviews, you know, asking our customers for reviews. And now we're the highest rated and most reviewed pest and lawn company in the Tulsa area. And that's really helped with our conversion rate. And the number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. Wait, say, say that again. How much are we up? 411%. Okay. So 411% um, we're up with, with our new customers. Amazing. Right. right. So not only do we have more customers calling in, we're able to close those deals at a much higher rate than we were before. Right now, our closing rate is about 85%, and that's largely uh, due to, uh, first of all, like our Google reviews that we've gotten people really see that our customers are happy, but also we have a script that we follow. And so when customers call in, they get all the information that they need. Uh, that script has been refined time and time again. 
Uh, it wasn't a one and done deal. We, it was a system that we, that we followed with Thrive in, in the refining process. And that has obviously, um, the 411% shows that that, that that system works. Yeah, so here's a big one for you. So last week alone, our booking percentage was 91%. We actually booked more deals, more new customers last year than we did the first five months, or I'm sorry, the first, we, we booked more deals last week than we did the first five months of last year from before we, we, we worked with Thrive. So again, we booked more deals last week than the first five months of last year. It, and it's incredible, but, but the reason why we have that success by implementing uh, the systems that, that Thrive has taught us and, and, and helped us out with. Some of those systems that we've implemented are group interviews. That way we've really been able to uh, come up with a really great team. Um, we've created and implemented checklists. That way everything um, gets done and it gets done right. Uh, we, it creates accountability. Uh, we're able to make sure that everything uh, gets done properly, both out in the field and also in our office. Um, and also doing the podcast like Jared had mentioned that has really, really contributed to our success. But that like I said, the diligence and um, consistency and doing those in that system has really, um, really been a, a big blessing in our lives. And also, um, you know, it's really shown that we've gotten the success from following those systems. Yeah. So before working with Thrive, uh, we were basically stuck. Um, really no new growth um, w with our with our business. Um, and we, we were in a rut and we so, didn't know. Oh, sorry. No the last three years, our customer base had pretty much stayed the same. We weren't shrinking but we weren't really growing either yeah and so we didn't we didn't really know where to go what to do uh, how to get out of this rut that we're in uh, but thrive helped us with that you know they, they implemented those systems that they taught us those systems they taught us the knowledge that we needed um, in order to succeed now it's been a grind absolutely it's been a grind this last year um, but we're but we're getting those fruits uh, from, from that hard work and, and the diligent effort that, that we're able to put into it um, so again we were in a rut thrive helped us get out of that rut um, and uh, and if you're thinking about I'm working with, with, with Thrive. Quit thinking about it and just do it. Um, do the action um, and you'll get the results. It, it will take hard work and discipline, um, but, but, uh, but that's what it's gonna take in order to, in order to, to really succeed. So uh, we just wanna give a big shout out to Thrive, a big thank you out there to, to Thrive. We wouldn't be where we're at, where we're at now um, without their help. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Moore. I'm a pediatric dentist. Through our new digital marketing plan, we have seen a market increase in the number of new patients that we're seeing every month, year over year. One month, for example, we went from 110 new patients the previous year to over 180 new patients um, in the same month. And overall, our average is running about 40 to 42 percent increase month over month, year over year. The group of people required to implement our new digital marketing plan is immense, starting with a business coach videographers, photographers, web designers. Back when I graduated dental school in 1985, nobody advertised. The only marketing that was ethically allowed in everybody's eyes was mouth-to-mouth -mouth marketing. By choosing to use the services, you're choosing to use a proof and turnkey marketing and coaching system that will grow your practice and get you the results that you're looking for. I went to the University of Oklahoma College of Dentistry graduated in 1983, and then I did my pediatric dental residency at Baylor College of Dentistry from 1983 to 1985. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today I want to tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise, and Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklists, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's This kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockwell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours on the day to day. He does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies. He's at the top. He has a team of uh, business coaches, videographers, gra and graphic designers and web developers, and they run 160 companies every single week. So 
Think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies. So in the weekly, he's running 160 companies. Um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up and he teaches people a 13 step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into, uh, or organizing everything in their head to building it into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk, kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, like, Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and uh, that's what I like him most about him. He's like, he's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time. Um, we went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal. And they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down. Um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't, his highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate. Anytime I've gotten nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or uh, you know, navigating competition and, 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 and an economy that's like, I remember we got closed down for three months. He helped us navigate on how to stay open, how to, how to get back open, how to um, uh, just survive through all the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine and we just wanna give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just wanna say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live two years ago. This is our old neighborhood. As you can see, it's uh, nice, right? So this is my old van and our old school marketing. And this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing. And this is our new team. We went from four to 14 and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman. So we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grossed 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month uh, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. The Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the highest and most reviewed business workshops on the planet. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. 
The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. But I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, and I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever and we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. If you go back eight years ago, Think about the, the number of clients you had back then versus the number of clients you have now. As a percentage, what has been the growth over the past eight years, do you think? we got to well, inspire somebody out there who just well, doesn't have the time to listen to okay, their calls. Okay, so, Clay, it's, it's, it's like I would go up and down from uh, about $10,000 a month up to about 40000 but it was up and down roller coaster. And so now we've, we've got it to where we're in excess of 100 clients. That's awesome. And so I would have anywhere from five clients to 20 clients on my own with networking, but I had no control over it. I, I, I didn't, without the systems, you're going to be at the, you're going to be victimized by your own business. For the, somebody out there who struggles with math, if you, let's say that your average cl number of clients was 30 and you go to 100, as a percentage, what is that? I, I have grown, I have doubled every year since working with you. So I've doubled in clients. I've doubled in revenue every year. It's a hundred percent growth every year I've worked with. Now, so so I'm looking. We've been good friends seven, eight years, and I've got doubled five times, which is just incredible. I mean, the first time you do it, that's one thing, but when you do it repeatedly, yeah, I mean, that's we're unbelievable. Work, we're working our blessed assurance off this year to double. We're planning on doubling again. We're incorporating new. Some, some some new things in there to really help us do it, but we are going to double again this year. I started coaching, but it would go up and down, Clay. That's when I came to you as I was going up and down, and I wanted to go up and up instead of up and down. And so that's when it needed a system. So creating a system is you have nailed down specific steps that you're going to take, no matter how you feel, no matter the results, you lean into them and you do them regardless of what's happening. You lean into them and it will give you X number of leads. You follow up with those leads, turns into sales. Well, I tell you, you know, it, it's if you don't have a script and you don't have a system, then every day is a whole new creation. You're creating a, a lot of energy just to figure out what are you going to do. Right. And the best executives, Peter Drucker is a father of modern management. He said, the most effective executives make one decision a year. What you do is you make a decision, what is your system, and then you work like the Dickens to make sure you follow that system. And so that, that, that's really what it's all about. So with a script here, I, you know, I, we have a brand new gal that just came, came in working for us. She nailed down the script, and yep. she's been nailing down appointments. Usually, we try to get one appointment for every 100 calls. We make two to 300 calls a day per rep. Right. And she's been nailing down five and eight appointments a day. Somebody out there is having a hard time. script. What's, so she's making how many calls a day? She's making between two and 300 calls a day. Whoa. And our relationship is weird in that we, we do um, – if someone were to buy an Apple computer today, yeah, and uh, or, or let's say you bought a personal computer, a PC. The computer is made by, let's say, Dell. But then the software in the computer um, would be Microsoft, let's say, or Adobe or whatever that is. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, make, I basically make the systems, 
and uh, you're, you're like the computer and I'm like the software. It's kind of how I would describe our relationship. Yeah. Tim, uh, I want to ask you this. You and I reconnected, um, and, uh, I think it was in the year 2000 and, uh, what was it, maybe 2010? Is that right? 2011 maybe? Or no, maybe, maybe further down the road. Maybe 2013? 2012. Okay, so 2012. And uh, at that time, I had I was five years removed from the, D, from the DJ business. And you were how many years removed from tax and accounting software? Uh, it was about... 10, 11 years. We met, um, how did we re-meet? What was the first interaction? There was some interaction where you and I first connected. I just remember that somehow you and I went to Hideaway Pizza. But do you remember when we first reconnected? Yeah. Uh, well, we had that speaking thing that- uh, Oh, there it was. So yeah. it was Victory Christian Center. I was yeah. speaking there. My name is Robert Redmond. I uh, actually first met Clay almost three years ago to the day. I don't know if he remembers it or not but I wasn't working with him at the time. I asked to see him and just ask him some questions to help you know, direct my life, to get some mentorship. Uh, but I've been working with Clay for now just over a year. Uh, the role I play here is a business coach, uh, business consultant. I work with different businesses, implementing uh, best practice processes and systems that I have uh, learned here uh, by working with Clay. And the experience working here has to put it real plainly, has been just life-changing. Um, I have not only learned new things and uh, have gained new knowledge, uh, but, but I have gained a whole new mindset um, that I believe wherever I end up uh, will serve me well throughout the rest of my life. Since working with Clay, uh, I have learned so much. I mean, I would like to say almost everything about, about business in terms of the different categories. I haven't learned it all. Uh, but I've learned all about marketing. I've learned about advertising. I've learned about branding. I've learned how to create a sales process for organizations in any industry. I've learned how to sell. Uh, I've learned how to create repeatable systems and processes and uh, hold people accountable. Um, you know, how to hire people. It is, it's almost like every aspect of a business you can learn. I have learned um, a lot in, in those different categories. Uh, and then, Again, the, the mindset that I've gained here um, has been huge. You know, uh, working here, uh, you, can't, you, you can't be a mediocre person. Um, you are uh, a call to a higher standard of, of excellence. And then as you're called to that standard here, you begin to see those outcomes in every area of your life, uh, that standard of excellence that, that you want to implement um, no matter what you're involved in. Uh, I would like to describe the other... Uh, people that, that work with Clay uh, are people that are going somewhere with their life. Uh, Marshall in, in the group interview uh, talks about how uh, you know, the, the best fits for this organization are, are the people that, that are goal-oriented. So they're on their own trajectory, and we're on our own trajectory. And uh, the, the best fits are those people where there can be a, a mutually beneficial relationship, that as we pursue our goals, uh, and we help the business pursue those goals, the uh, business helps us pursue our goals as well. Uh, and so I'd say people that are driven, people that want to make something of their lives, uh, people that are uh, goal-oriented, they're focused, uh, uh, and uh, they're committed to overcoming any adversity that may uh, come their way. Clay's passion for helping business uh, owners grow their businesses is it's, it's unique in that I don't know if there's anyone else's that can be as passionate. Um, you know, whenever a business starts uh, uh, working with Clay, uh, it, it's almost as like Clay is, is running that business in the sense that he has something at stake. Um, you know, he's just serving them. Uh, they're, they're, they're one of his clients, but it's, it's as if he is actively involved in the business. Whenever they have a win, he's posting it all over his social media. He's shouting it across uh, the, the room here, here at Thrive. Um, you know, he's uh, sending people encouraging messages. He can kind of be that, that life coach and, and, and business coach in terms of being that uh, a motivator and that champion for uh, people's businesses. It's, 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 again, unique because there's no one else I've seen uh, get so excited about and passionate about other people's businesses. The kind of people that wouldn't like working with Clay are people that are satisfied with, with mediocrity, uh, people that uh, want to get th through life by just doing enough, 
by just getting by. Uh, people who are not looking to develop themselves, people who are not coachable, people who think that they know it all and they're unwilling to change. Um, I would say those are the type of people. And in short, anyone that's content with mediocrity uh, would not like working with Clay. So if um, you're meeting Clay for the first time, the advice I'd give you is uh, definitely come ready to take tons of notes. Uh, every time Clay speaks, he uh, um, gives you a wealth of knowledge uh, that you don't want to miss. I remember the first time that I met Clay, I literally carried a notebook with me all around. I was looking at this notebook the other day, actually. I carried a notebook with me uh, all around, and I just took tons of notes. I filled the entire notebook in uh, about, about three or four months, uh, just from being around Clay, following him, and, and, and learning from him. And then I would say, come, come coachable. Uh, uh, be, be open to uh, learning something new. Be open to challenging yourself. Uh, be open to um, learning and, and adjusting parts about you that, that uh, need to be adjusted.